To identify Betula pendula, I'd be looking for noticeably white bark with dark markings, often in a diamond shape, coming to the fore when the tree is semi-mature into early maturity. Emerging male catkins in March are long, yellow, and born in large numbers at twig ends. Female flowers are much shorter, green, erect, and less, much less noticeable on the spray. Form of the tree is noticeably weeping at the tips, which gives rise to the species epithet pendula. And this weeping effect and the white bark is most noticeable in the winter months. Fruit of Betula pendula are the remains of the female catkins now hanging down. They turn to a light brown and there lies lots and lots of papery bracts which separate off from a central spindle. Lots of very, very finely winged nutlets emerge. An important distinguishing feature of Betula pendula is the shape of the leaves. These are typically deltoid or uh, rhomboid, so diamond shaped or triangular shaped and quite strongly toothed, heading towards a discernible tip. And these lie on a spray, quite often the end of the spray being pendulous and hanging down, and the leaves or buds alternate on that spray. The twig itself will be warty, not pubescent. And finally the winter buds, they are alternate, quite often in the winter covered with a waxy white bloom. Notice this one also has green aphid eggs adorning it. And the twig during the winter will produce quite noticeable white warts, which is part of its winter protection system. And you won't get this in any significant amount on Betula pubescens.